guys, welcome to Casa Bani. Welcome back if you are already a subscriber of mine. Today I wanted to come to you with a quick tutorial on how I apply my press-ons with sticky tabs. And usually this application will last me um, anywhere from a week to a week and a half. And usually by around the uh, week and a half mark, I'm like pretty over my nails and I'm ready for a new design. So what I'm doing here is just wiping my nail bed so that, you know, the ground that we lay for our press-ons, you know, it's not oily. We don't want any oils hanging out on the nail beds because that is just one way to ensure that this set will not last long. So I just make sure I give it a thorough rub Make sure I use that real good, okay? And I like to use both of the alcohol wipes because, I mean, you can never be too sure. There have been times when I've only did one wipe and apparently I didn't have all the oils off my nails. So you just wanna be extra thorough. And this is the way to make sure you are going to Keep your nails on for at least a week well this is how I keep my nails on for a week and I do everything I bathe I cook but I mean of course you have to have like a, a gentle hand with these right so you have to be very mindful and that's something I have to keep in mind because you know I can be clumsy and a little heavy-handed at times so just make sure you are really thorough with this process and you're good. This is really easy. And if you're anything like me and you like to switch up your sets, this is going to be a perfect routine for you. All right, so now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and grab my sticky tabs. Peel off that layer. Okay. And from here, I'm going to choose the sticky tab that is appropriate for each nail. So this one is one of the bigger ones and I'm gonna apply it to my thumb. And I like to start as close to the side wall as I can, just to make sure I'm covering all the ground of the nail. And I'll leave just like a little bit of space up here so that I can just very gently with the nail, kind of push my cuticle back and you have to be so, so gentle with this process, okay? All right guys, so I am back and I have applied all of the sticky tabs to every nail except for my pinky and I wanted to show you why. If you're anything like me, you like to wear your press on to sticky tabs, you will find that often there are not enough sticky tabs to accommodate the pinky nail. So what I do is I grab a scissor and I'll just find any sticky tab, maybe one that I might've used for a middle finger and I'll just go ahead and cut that in half. So I'll just show you guys really quickly. But this is how I create my pinky nail sticky tab. Just split it in half. Bing bong. All right, so let me just go ahead and apply that. Okay. Now, we are ready to take off the little tops of the stickers so that we can apply our press-ons. And I always do every nail except for my thumb first. So, you know, you need your thumbs to really have a good sense of control over what you're doing. So that is kind of why I do that. And hopefully you find that helpful in your application. I'm struggling here, don't mind me. All right guys, we're back and all of the tops of the sticky tabs are gone and we're ready to finally apply our press-ons. So again, I do 
all the nails except for the thumbs first. So I like to push back my cuticle just a little bit. Guys, you wanna be so gentle with your cuticle area. Like this is something that you don't wanna play around. You really wanna take your time with this part and go ahead, bing bong, pop that on. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Why did I say that? All right, so doing the same thing with a middle nail. Look at that, beautiful already. I can already feel my inner bird jumping out, guys. Like, do you ever feel like that? Like where you just wanna activate the bird in you and you need a good set to be able to do that. Well, for me anyway. Okay. A good set is gonna set my attitude off from the left, honey. Here we go. Look at that. Okay, remember we're doing our thumbs first because we need our thumbs for control, for our easy application. And as you can see, the application's not perfect. Like, just, just get it on there. You know what I mean? Like, do what you gotta do to get it on there. Everything doesn't have to be perfect all the time. You know what I'm saying? Very gentle. Bong bong, look at that. Now, I made this set a couple nights ago. This set was inspired by at Glam Bionic on Instagram, and I'm going to link her in the description so you guys can go ahead and check her page out and show her some love. Okay. very gentle pushback of the cuticle and then thumbs last as previously discussed a little gentle pushback okay what's this do i have something on this thumb there's something something all right i think we're good gentle pushback and there we have it we have a brand new set this is gonna last me for about a week if I really want to stretch it it can last me for a week and a half but um, yeah this is how I apply my press-ons from week to week anytime you see me guys you know you know I'm wearing the nails y'all know I'm gonna have a nail on so Drop down in the comments. Let me know how do you apply your press-ons? Like how often um, are you open to this method? Have you ever tried it before? Um, you know, in the future, I'm gonna be trying to drop by and give some more quick glam tutorials like with this one. But yeah, I love this set. It's just like a ready for springtime set. It's fun, it's colorful, it's a little abstract. It's got a little bit of raised texture on it, which is something I've been wanting to try. So yeah, um, thank you guys for stopping by and to let me know how you like this tutorial. Let me know um, if you are going to try this method. Sickening, no? Yes, honey, get into her. She is ready for the Bird Offs 2023, honey. Yes, God, mama.